Now, the way that this base book template is set up is that you have these profile pages on one side and see here, you can see where the binding is gonna go. This is where the, the book's going to be held together. These little squares kind of suggest that you're gonna have coils, but of course you could always just download this and have it printed or you know whatever you wanna do. Three hole punch it if you want. Anyways, this um, profile page is going to be on one side and on the other side uh, of the root person, we have a family tree, but this is the only person who has this family tree because the rest of the book shows the direct line. Now here, the next person is going to be the father. And if we go to the page that's facing the father's profile, we can see the direct line. The direct line says, okay, we've got this person who, you know, we don't have it filled in yet. There's going to be a photo and then a name. And there's a little hint saying this is index number two and an arrow showing that that person's descendant, the next generation is blank, blank, index number one. Well, we have filled in index number one. So it could be a really good time since we have that photo right there in our uploads. If I open our uploads again, to go ahead and fill in the information for um, index number one on all of these direct line pages. This may seem a little bit tedious, but it's gonna save you having to hunt down these photos later. How we do that is you just drag your photo to this bubble and I'm gonna just double click it. I'm not gonna worry too much about those little frames because you can't really see it on this tiny little page, but I wanna recenter him. And I've got his photo there. And now I'm just gonna double click on this. I'm gonna select where it says name in all caps. And instead of having it say name, I'm gonna have it say James Kennedy Gordon. In fact, I'm going to select James Kennedy Gordon and I'm gonna copy it because on the mother's page, I know that I'm gonna be doing the same thing. Now, again, you might think, okay, this is going to be really tedious. Yes, especially for the index number one, it is a lot of just copying and pasting and dragging this little photo over, but it's gonna show you how all of these people then turn around to see what we're up to the paternal grandfather, which means that we're gonna have uh, the root person, their father and the grandfather and these visual maps are going to be really helpful for anyone who's looking at this book. So tedious, yes, but totally worth it. Just go through and for index number one, add the photo of the person that you chose as your root person and their name. And just fill in all of the spots that say index number one for that direct line. Now, when you go up to like index number two, it's not gonna be as many pages as index number one, right? Because index number two is only gonna show up on some of the direct lines. Um, but yeah, the root person is on every single page. So it'll take you a minute, but do it, it's worth it.